Greens, and welcome to Cash Your Trash International Edition. Which simply means that no matter where you are in the world, you cannot escape my judgment ticket. <laughs> Today we're going to be looking at three craft kit cra craft kits. See, my instinct was to say crap kits, but I really tried hard to correct myself and say craft kits. Because we don't know if these kits are good or if they go in the trash. So as I was saying, these kits come straight from across the Atlantic Ocean from Canada. Let's just look at the map. We see Canada, there's the Atlantic Ocean, and then there's the, the craft kits that came from that side of the world. I also did order a kit from the UK, but I'm still waiting for it. It's been a month and a half. Just to be clear, these kits were sent to me by one of you grains. If you're interested to see unboxings, I do have a second channel called Nerdy Jackie, so feel free to check that channel out and give it some love. The first kit we're going to look at is a Deco Unicorn kit. Looking at this kit, I have no idea what we can do with it, but I guess we'll find out in more detail in not too long. Next we have Girls Are Magic. I don't know why just girls are magic, but I, I think everyone's magic. Look. Fire. And it's called Trendy Shapes Charms. I'm not quite sure what trends they're following on that side of the world, so I'm curious if it's actually good. And then we have another kit called Decorate Your Own Puppy. Thankfully, it's not really your own puppy. They really should have added maybe paper mache or glue or miniature or something like that because it's, it just says decorate your puppy. And I really don't think that's a puppy. It looks more like a carpet gone wrong with a bow tie. Let's not forget the bow tie. Before we continue with our video, we are sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Let's put our sword down very gently, very gently. You saw nothing. For those of you who don't know, Raid Shadow Legends is an epic dark fantasy game that is available both on your PC and your phone. Growing up, I loved playing both Hearthstone and Magic the Gathering, but these are card games and it's usually easier when you have to play with someone. Think of Raid Shadow Legends similarly to these games, except it's an RPG format, which makes me oh so happy. So you can collect close to 500 champions and level them up, which is, I, I mean, one of my favorite things to do. Let me show you grains a little more. Some of the ways you can collect champions is by using shards. Let's listen to that sound. Ah, so satisfying. Using shards to summon characters can give you anything from common to legendary creatures. But Jackie, what if I get a common character and I just don't like it? I'm glad you asked. As I mentioned, I love leveling up my characters. So if there's a champion that you are not fond of and you just don't want, you can sacrifice it to make your current characters even stronger, as you can see I'm doing here. I love the fact that they have everything from high elves, dark elves, undead hordes, lizardmen, and so on. Also, this game is constantly updating, so you have content that will keep you away from boredom. This month, they released a huge champion update, which is rebalancing about 20 different characters so that PvP mode can be more competitive. I haven't tried PvP mode because I'm a little chicken. And also a new section called The Forge just started, so you can go ahead and start crafting top quality artifacts. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description and click on the special link. And if you are a new player, you will get 50,000 silver, 50 gems, one energy refill, one clan boss key, five mystery shards, one day XP booster, and one free champion, Hexweaver. It's a really good champion, so don't miss out. All these will be waiting for you in this inbox right here, but only for 30 days. So get on and check it out. Let's put our sword away again. As I'm looking at the kits, I realize that they're all from the same company called Graphics. So I feel like if one of them is a miss, probably all of them might be. I mean, I'm looking at you, Crayola. So many times, Crayola has put my expectations here because they're a pretty good brand name, but then the expectations started to fall. And you know what they did? They disappointed me. They made me salty. And then I cry. Let me know in the comment section below, which one do you have the least hope on? I feel like the unicorn might be a letdown right away, but that's just me. Maybe I'm just judging too quickly. And I might have the most hope on the puppy decoration. I mean the carpet puppy decoration. I'm curious to know your entries as well. I am really curious to know where you grains are from. I know many of you are Amerigrains, and then we have an absolutely wonderful mixed bag of international grains. By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, otherwise I will wave a sharp pointy thing. Look, look how sharp it is. Make sure you click on all notifications while you're there. Our first victim, I mean kit, 
is the Deco Unicorn by Graphics. I absolutely love unicorn crafts, but more often than not, they have disappointed us on this channel, especially when they come into, you know, shapes and forms of bath bombs and soaps and things. The front of the box doesn't really tell us much about the craft itself. On the side, we do see some really cute stickers, but not just cute stickers. Let, let's go back to that first one. It says super fancy. I feel like the super fancy doesn't go with the unicorn. I'm expecting something like magical. Because if it says super fancy, I really do hope, at least I would have hoped, that this unicorn would have had a top hat and a monocle. Yes, I am quite the fancy unicorn. I need, I need to talk about crumpets and croquet. Cro Cro crochet, I say. When we turn the box on the side, we see that there is a marker, but my worry is that there would be one marker. I don't know. We'll find out. And oh boy, yeah, in the back, we definitely see one marker and a bunch of stickers. I'm guessing the other things are gems, but there's only one way to find out. And that's to see what we get inside. you wondering, this kit does cost £4.99, which is this much in US dollars. And we get a plastic unicorn at uh, 360 and for about $5, this is kind of disappointing. In a previous video, my sister and I did a craft kit that is really similar to this one, except that the plastic piece that we were decorating was actually doubling as a light bulb, a kind of night light. This year has nothing else other than being a vinyl toy. We're also getting a set of stickers. One of them has cute little gems and animals and clouds and hearts and so on. And the other one is a textured cloud and stars and gems. You can see that there's some kind of glitter on there and they are kind of scratchy. Sticker gems and our infamous marker that's just as big as a finger. That's, that's how it is. It better be the juiciest marker ever. So I'm gonna put you over there. By the way, many of your grains have been curious about my new background. I did a whole renovation a couple of weeks ago. So please be patient because this background will be changing quite a bit and I'm still learning how to do the autofocus. So if it's going in and out, it won't last very long. It'll eventually, I'll fix it, don't worry. The other thing about this unicorn is that it is cute. There's no discussing that it's not absolutely adorable. It kind of looks melancholic. I'm not quite sure why. So I have a soft spot for it. But just because I think it's cute, it doesn't mean there's no so, so let's go ahead and do our first test. So let's try it somewhere not too visible, maybe. Uh, you know what? Let's just let's just dive into it. Wait, what did it show on the box? Hang, hang on, hang on. I'll be right. I'll, I'll be right back. I need to find the box. I got it. Unfortunately, the box itself doesn't really give us any type of ambitious projects. Just a couple of hearts and X. And that's the extent of the decoration they're showing us. Well, that's a load of disappointment. They, they don't, they're not even inspired to do it themselves. How am I supposed to be inspired if the company who made it isn't inspired? The answer is it's hard. If you're not enthusiastic about your product, then how can I? All right, so let's put a little line and see where it goes. Oh, that is quite the juicy marker. Now the question is, how quickly does it dry? Oh, okay. All right, let's get decorating. she is. I did go ahead and do a doodle all over her entire body and she definitely looks like she's wearing jammies, which is kind of cute. And I am really surprised. I mean, look, there's no purple on my hands. There's no leakage, there's no contamination. My only disappointment is that this is not a night light. If the other one can be sold for $5 and be a night light, I feel like this one could as well. But oh wait, we have stickers. Unexpectedly, the stickers are actually transparent. I thought they would have like this white contour around it, which makes it even cooler to just kind of stick it like this. So it doesn't show, well technically the background is white and 
it wouldn't have shown anyways. But that's not the point. So for those of you who want to say, But Jakey, you're not even looking at the actual color. Wow, you're just non-observant. Stop it. Don't defy me. If you want to, come here and fight me. Let's go. Come on. Come on. I'll, I'll meet you at the craft store. And instead of fighting, we'll just go shopping. Okay, because I don't, I don't, I don't want to fight. <laughs> we also have these cute gems. I'm wondering if they will stick well enough. We will give it this cute little rosy cheek. It's funny because the unicorn looks both emo and cute. It's, it's an aesthetic. Voila. Now the question is, is it worth it or does it go? In the trash. Honestly, nothing went wrong with this kit. I would have preferred it to be a night lamp, but other than that, it didn't smudge. It was an activity, but keep in mind, it only kept me busy for about 15 minutes. So because nothing went wrong, I would say, with your cash. Next we have... Girls are magic, trendy shaped charms. That's the craft kit in which the trend is probably very contained. Maybe it just belongs in the office. So nobody knows about that trend except for the people who work at the office because that's their trend. No one else's. Doesn't matter if it's real life trendy, it's just craft kit trendy. Just, just for this one. Beautiful words make beautiful sales. This kit is basically a color your own enamel pins, except they're charms at this point. They're not pins. I did do something similar to that, but a North American kit. So I'm curious to see if the paint that is being used is as good. Why does it keep falling? In the back, we can definitely see the different kinds of shapes and that the colors are absolutely vibrant. And it shows us pretty much what else is there. When it comes to the price tag, I couldn't for the life of us. I, I even sent Salty Crafter all the way to try and find it herself. And Salty Crafter herself could not find the price. So the next best thing I did was find a similar kit by Graphics and this one cost $3.99, this much in the US dollars. So far it seems like Graphics is a budget type company. So if you are looking for things that are not as expensive as the um, very expensive ones here in North America that are like $40 and then they make you cry. <laughs> And they break your heart. They just break your heart. This brand could actually be good if it works. Let's let's not get our expectations high because the more your expectations are high, the more disappointed you can be. So let's let's go back to neutral. Good, and let's move on. All right, let's see what we get inside. Here's what we get inside. Paint colors in blue, pink, green, and yellow. Charm attachments. A paint pusher. And I don't mean a, a pusher, like, you know, shady people on the streets. I mean, it's just to push your paint around ins inside. That's what I meant. We also get five charms. Now, these two are exactly the same because they automatically assume that since this kit is for girls, which you grains know how I feel about targeted items to just girls or just boys. I don't like it, not one bit. Because these two are similar, they also give us earring charms. So their hope is that because you're a girl, you will have pierced ears. I mean, not the case used to, but not anymore. I'm also not sure how these are trendy. I mean, they just seem like generic. We have the hashtag BFF, a heart with love, and then just geometric shapes. So it's not trendy. Don't pretend you're with it when you're not with it. How do you do, fellow kids? And just so you have an idea of how tiny these charms are, this is my thumbnail, and it's just barely, here you go, just barely bigger than my thumbnail. That's, that's how big it is which is pretty small. So my concern is, are we really going to be able to get such tiny details? And the answer is, I don't think so. Is the paint okay? I got the cap open, but at the expense of messing up my shirt. But the good news is, is that the paint is squishy and liquidy. Oh, and we also do get the instructional sheet. So interestingly enough, According to the instructions, you know how I said I was worried if the actual tubes, these little nibs over here, if they would be too big for the actual charms? And apparently the answer is yes. So the instructions do tell us to put a little bit of paint on a piece of paper or plastic. In this case, I'm using the plastic that actually came with the kit. That way I'm not wasting more resources. And now, time to use our pusher. No, not, not the shady pusher again. Get out of here! Get out of here! So let's see how useful this tool is. I'm going to start with the 
pink and do pretty, oh my god, oh no, pretty much similar to the actual box. Just a reminder, I am sitting a little further from the camera. So hopefully it's better when you're actually into it. Let me, let me get a little closer. You won't see me anymore, but you hear me. I don't know which is worse. <laughs> So as I'm putting the pink down, I, I, I went into a detail, a design flaw. First of all, it wasn't that hard to put the colors in. You just kind of got to get really close to it. But the design flaw is that one of the lines goes into the V. So the V is not separate in its own as a design. So I just kind of flowed with the color, but now I'm stuck. I'm stuck with this and I really want to clean it out, but I'm not quite sure how to do it. So I'm going to take a napkin and try to remove just that one color instead of having to re wash or wash the entire thing. So let's try to be delicate. Is it doable? No, that's as good of a cleanup as I can get. Let's keep going. So as you can see, putting down the colors really isn't that difficult as long as you're like this close. You really, you really gotta almost put it in your eye, but don't put it in your eye. But one of the things that I noticed is that because this is paint, the lines are a little sloppy. That's normal. It's liquid and we're working really tiny. So I find that the overall design was a little disappointing considering the fact I really took my time and went really close. And I wondered, why is it that I can't get the lines as straight as on the box? As this over here. And then I realized, oh, 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 oh. This is photoshopped. Of course it's gonna be straight lines. And not just that, but on the front of the box, they do show that you're using the actual paint straight on the charm. And they make the charm look way bigger. I mean, way bigger than it really is because it looks like the paint here is much smaller compared to the actual charm. Whereas this is our truth. The charm is way smaller. False advertisement right there. I'm really curious to see if we can clean up the lines with a Q-tip like so. And it seems like yes. I'm going to just clean up the lines a little bit and see if it gets better. The answer is no. <laughs> But at around $3, this kit will definitely keep someone busy. Not the ideal thing if you really have to get really close to something and practically go cross-eyed because you just you gotta bring it so close. That's it. I think it is worth your cash simply because if it is $3.99, it's cheap. Was it $2.99? $3.99. So I would say worth your cash if you like little things. That's what he said. And just to be clear, it does feel like a dollar store item, so I wouldn't be surprised if you found it at the dollar store somewhere. Now we have... Decorate your own carpet puppy. I added the carpet because that's what it looks like. So. There's really not much to say about the outside of the kit other than maybe the decoration was overkill on the box itself, but I guess they really want to show you that you should be able to get enough material to cover the entire thing. In the back of the box, we actually do see the puppy, and it looks like a nice little piece of sculpture. So I think our goal for today is maybe to give the puppy a shirt or something, try not to cover its entirety, or at least if we're going to cover it so that it doesn't look like a mess. So I'm really excited to try this out. I want was indeed able to find it online and the cost was 4.95 euros this much in us now i don't know my conversion rates but i'm going to go out on a limb here and say that they're probably close to everything under seven dollars each if, if it's not i'll just correct myself because i'm good at that which makes them all really affordable. If this kit gets a cash, that means all three of them were worth it, which is very different from the North American kits that I've tried. So North America, we need to step up our game. Japan is winning. And then um, we have like Euros. Basically the EU is kicking North America's butt and Japan is kicking our butt. Time to see what we get inside. I don't think I need this or do I? No, I don't. Here's what we get inside. The mummified puppers. Let's take it apart. Why is this so glued? 
One eternity later. Here is our puppers. Kind of looks like a schnauzer. Not sure. Oh, not sure if you grains can tell, but it kind of looks like a schnauzer. We also get a variety of sticker sheets that looks pretty much like um, someone's tacky's house wallpaper just looks like very tacky wallpaper and if you like that kind of style you have interesting very eccentric tastes that's all i gotta say <laughs> See, what I thought was weird, if we look at the uh, pieces here, is I thought these were just sheets and then we paper mache. But nay, that is not the case. These are actually stickers. So I'm a little conflicted because I was really ready to do some paper mache. I was, I was looking forward to it so much. But we remember what we said about expectations. Don't have them. We also get a leash and I guess a, uh, the eyes staring straight into the windows of your soul. And then we have a sponge and last but not least uh i'm guessing this was supposed to be the glue or the sealant but <sighs> yep salt come out and play so it seems like our sealant has dried it feels like a glue stick <laughs> yeah and it smells like white glue that's all it is and unfortunately it seems like the packaging is absolutely garbage so this is useless So there were no instructions, instruction sheets per se, but the back of the box does tell us use stickers and then glaze it with the glue and then accessorize it. They make it seem pretty simple, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say we should be fine. Now the question is how tacky do I want my dog? Very tacky. So I'm going to go with a 80s and 90s cup motif. And instead of decorating the entire dog, I'm going to go ahead and do just kind of like a, a shirt because I don't want to ruin the dog. So here we go with the sticker on the plastic. Yeah, it sticks really well. And so as I started removing the stickers and placing them right on top of the figurine, I realized that this is probably one of the dumbest craft kits I have ever done. This has no value whatsoever other than removing stickers and sticking them with no actual creativity other than changing stickers. It really leaves nothing to the imagination. They could have given markers, or honestly, if they had paper mache, then we could technically even change the shape of some of the pieces. I'm going to call this dog Leroy. So, hey there, Leroy. Nice. Nice shirt, Leroy. This is by far the most expensive kit that we've tried today, and it is the most disappointing. Why does it always go this way? Higher price, higher expectation. So for me, this one is 100% going in the trash. Let me know if the one that you thought was going to be worth your cash or trash if I actually got it right or if, if you got it right. If you want to watch previous Cash or Trash International Edition, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a crafty video, more specifically a My Little Pony customization, check it out down here. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video.